Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about some of the most recent news in the NBA, as today um, there has been some, I guess you could say breaking news in the NBA, that Bradley Beal talks with the Washington Wizards have gone down to two teams. Washington's two finalists for a Bradley, to Bradley Beal trade are Miami and the, the Miami Heat and the Phoenix Suns. A series the with the Suns being a serious threat. Um, and additional, the Heat want to keep Tyler Hero. Um, that the the Heat are trying to do a trade with the Wizards with keeping Tyler Hero. So I, it's very confusing to me because, um, you know, I thought the Wizards would want Tyler Hero. I also thought not only would the Heat want to keep Tyler Hero, but I also thought the Heat would want to keep Caleb Martin, which I bet is the case as well. So if you're not trading Tyler Hero to the Wizards, then you're probably going to trade Caleb Martin. So in that case, if you're the Miami Heat, you have to make a decision whether you trade Caleb Martin or Tyler Hero, um, which in this case for for the Miami Heat, I would probably take Caleb Martin over Tyler Hero because you're, you're having Bradley Beal come in to play the position Tyler Hero plays. So, uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, Hero's a better player than Martin. I mean, I don't know. It's a little, uh, I mean, he was great in their playoff run. Martin was great in their playoff run, but uh, Hero's still a better player. But, um, you know, I don't really see Tyler Hero starting if, uh, if, if Bradley Beal goes to Miami. But we're not here to talk about Miami Heat and Bradley Beal. We're, we're talking about the Phoenix Suns and Bradley Beal and what a potential trade to the Phoenix Suns looks like. I'm going to be honest. This one surprised me. I didn't think Phoenix would be in play for, some, for somebody like Bradley Beal. Um, I thought they were going to make smaller trades, trade DeAndre Aiden and Chris Paul separately. But you would have to think... Uh, a Bradley Beal trade would probably involve Chris Paul and DeAndre Aiden, most likely. Um, that's what I'm going to do right here. Let's go over what I think a trade to land Bradley Beal in Phoenix with Kevin Durant and Devin Booker would look like. Here we go. So here is the trade that would send Bradley Beal to the Phoenix Suns. So Chris Paul and DeAndre Aiden go to the Washington Wizards alongside with CP3 and DeAndre Aiden. So does a 2024 first-round pick that belongs to the Phoenix Suns and then also the 52nd overall pick in this year's draft. So a second-round pick in this year's draft, which is pick 52, a 2024 first, Chris Paul and DeAndre Aiden to the Washington Wizards. And in return, the Phoenix Suns get... Um, Bradley Beal, and then not only Bradley Beal, but they also um, get Daniel Gafford, a center um, who mostly, basically, was was the Wizards' starting center. Not the whole season, but um, was usually their starting center. Daniel Gafford, who averaged 9 points per game with 5.6 rebounds per game, uh, and a really solid defensive player averaging 1.4 blocks per game this season with the Wizards. Um... I'm going to get into Bradley Beal's stats. Average 23.2 points per game this season. Average 23.2 points per game uh, in the 21-22 season. But then the previous years before that, averaged 31.5 points per game in the 2021 season with the Washington Wizards. And then averaged 30.5 points per game in the 19-20 season with the Wizards. So those are those are Bradley Beal's last four seasons. Now the last two years, his his points per game have gone down with 23.2 in, in both in the last two seasons. But he did average 30 points per game in, in back-to-back seasons uh, in the 2019-20 season and then in the 2021 season as well. Beal was great for them. And that, that was... I know, I know they were only like the they might I think they were the eight seed because that season Philly was the number one seed. So they were I know they were the only eight seed. They were only the eight seed that season, and they lost in like five games to Philly in the playoffs, which I was actually kind of surprised. I know they had Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook got was just fantastic that year, but I was surprised Washington made the playoffs that year, and they made the playoffs. And Russell Westbrook was fantastic for them, and so was. So was Bradley Beal. I mean, it was the year that Westbrook was, you know, he he wasn't scoring that much for Washington, but it was like back to, you know, triple-double Russ. I mean, triple-double every night for Russ, and um, 
and Bradley was the you know the offense of that whole team. Ooh, that was a that was a good you know twenty twenty one uh, Wizards team. They just I don't they didn't really have a lot of help besides Beal and 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 Westbrook. But um, but he did great in that twenty twenty one season. Averaged thirty one point five points per game, and I mean yeah. So I I guess getting into the trade this trade proposal, I mean. It's a, it's a solid trade for Washington. I mean, they move on from uh, they move on from from Bradley Beal and everything that's happened with him that that horrible contract. But now you got to deal with some some new bad contracts and Chris Paul and DeAndre Aiden. But at the same time, um, I think Bradley Beal was not worth a normal superstar because of his, his contract is a very heavy contract, and not only that. His no trade clause is very, very. It's going to be very hard to deal with. Bradley Beal will be thirty years old. Oh, our birthdays are similar. He he, he turns thirty years old today. Is he turns thirty years old in eleven days? And I turned, I turned sixteen and and ten. His birthday is on the twenty eighth. Mine's on the twenty seventh. But uh, he turns. Yeah, he turns thirty in eleven days. His he's thirty years old. If you know. I think a, a trio of Devin Booker and Kevin Durant and Bradley Beal would work out, but there is a chance that down the line, there's still about, I think, four years left on Beal's contract. There's a real solid or decent chance that wa- that Bradley Beal potentially gets moved, and an older Bradley Beal, maybe thinking around 32, 33 years old, might be harder to trade You know, with that no-trade clause. So that no-trade clause also has a really difficult part of... Um, of you know what where, where um where his values at with that no trade clause and also his horrible contract um in washington they're getting deandre aiden i know people talk crap about deandre aiden but he is still a solid player um average 18 points per game with 10 rebounds per game and i mean he's still 24 years old as the first overall pick in 2018 and I think we all kind of know he, I mean, this is not a good excuse, but he didn't have his confidence in Phoenix. He didn't, you know, he didn't look like he wanted to necessarily be in Phoenix. Um, and, and I think in Washington, uh, I really think there's a decent chance DeAndre Aiden would be playing some decent basketball. I could see DeAndre Aiden averaging like 20 points per game and 10 rebounds per game in Washington. I think he'd actually be pretty good in, uh, in with Washington, especially if Chris Paul's staying in Washington, because I mean, I mean, there's a good chance Washington does buy Chris Paul out, but if they don't, he's still a still a solid player. It is at at 38 years old. He's averaged 13. He averaged 14 points per game this season with nine assists per game and four rebounds per game. I know, I know he's getting up there in age, but I mean, still Chris Paul is at his age. I think at 38 years old, Chris Paul is still a good basketball player. I know. People, you know, make fun of, you know, or, you know, they make people make good points about his injuries. Yes, he's injury prone. And yes, he can't win a championship. But this Washington Wizards team is not going to be trying to win an NBA championship plus that. But I think Chris Paul, a good, you know, Washington has a, a nice young core. Chris Paul, if you look at what he did with the OKC Thunder, was great for their young core. Um, I honestly think Chris Paul would be a good addition for Washington. I mean, it's not a long term. It's not a long term keep. It's a one year rental for Chris Paul. Um, works works with the you know um, Washington 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 team. I would think with the eighth overall pick, Washington would be prepared to draft the point guard most likely. Um, and then Chris Paul. That's Chris Paul's understudy and. Basically, that point guard that is drafted by Washington with the eighth overall pick, whoever that is, um, gets to learn from Chris Paul. Uh, I mean, that, that's a, that's a decent, you know, to start off your rookie year off the bench in Washington, learning from Chris Paul. Um, that's, a, that's a decent way to start off your NBA career. Then in your second season, now you're the starter after, you know, learning from Chris Paul. So, I mean, it, it's not a bad trade for Washington. I think they could probably get better from somewhere else, like Miami. Um, Miami wants to keep Tyler Hero, but at the same time, I think Washington can end up getting Tyler Hero from them. You could end up getting like Tyler Hero, Nikola Jovic, and like th- three first round picks, or maybe two. 
uh, from Miami. So, or probably Duncan Robinson, Jovic, and Tyler Hero, and two first round picks from Miami. So it's either do that trade, getting Hero and Duncan Robinson and Jovic and a couple first round, two or three first round picks, or getting Chris Paul, DeAndre Aiden, and a first round pick in a future second for Bradley Beal and Daniel Gafford. I don't know. Uh, I do know that Kevin Durant and Devin Booker and Bradley Beal would be a hell of a trio and probably uh, would be one of the favorites to win an NBA championship, win the 2024 NBA Finals next season. Um, I think the only problem for Phoenix next year, if you add in Bradley Beal, who's going to be the point guard now if you know if Bradley Beal comes in? Booker is going to be, or you would think uh, Beal would be the, the, the shooting guard, Devin Booker would be the small forward or the other way around. And KD's going to be the small forward. KD's going to be the power forward. And then unless you don't bring in anybody else at center, Daniel Gafford's going to be the starting center. Um, so then my question would be, is campaign the starting point guard or do you pick somebody else up? Um, but I, I don't know. It, it would be very interesting to see uh, what kind of trade goes down for Bradley Beal to land to land in in Phoenix. You guys have your thoughts on the trade idea. That's it for the video. Please enjoyed and peace out.